Paul, you're uh, renowned usually for, you know, tackles, headers, all the rest of it, but talk us through the goal. I uh, just seen Samo hitting it, um, and I thought, I'm going to get in here and the keeper's parry in this. Thankfully, he did. Um, so, yeah, I just gambled. One of those ones, that's something that the manager have been keen for you to do? Um, well, no, they didn't, didn't really speak about that, but... Um, we spoke about it before the game and the fact that if I got wide and got balls into the box saying to the boys, look, if it's going over the strikers, there's a great opportunity in the back post area to get in there and any crosses that do come right through, there's potential for a, a tap-in. Um, and that goes for the same for me coming in the back post if Doyley's putting it in or whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I just saw Samo hit it and I thought, yeah, I'm going to gamble. You must have been delighted with the number of crosses that you managed to get in the box tonight. Yeah, um, I've played that position plenty of times in my career um, and I don't know, it maybe suits me quite well. Um, but yeah, it's, I enjoyed, enjoyed playing tonight. Um, it was a good start for us. New, new, but new, well, Lee and Cracks are in now. Um, so yeah, it's a, good, it's a good start. Do you feel that the change of formation and moving to that wing-back role, did you feel that gave you a bit more freedom tonight? Um, yeah, I think in that wing-back role, it has as a left or a right wing back you do get more freedom to get forward because you have the security of three centre halves and also Gary Miller sitting in the midfield if if I go or if Doyley goes Gaz just kind of covers over a little bit um, and then Vinny obviously behind me if anything breaks down then, then they boys are there to, to pick anything up so in terms of uh, attacking yeah you do get a bit more freedom What's the preparation for tonight been like? Obviously it's been a bit of a kind of upheaval this week. Yeah, it's been a very tough week. Um, I actually said that on the telly that uh, it's difficult when you lose a manager that you enjoy working with. Um, I think all of us as players feel that way. It was difficult to pick ourselves up, but as players we have to do that. Um, it's just unfortunate what happened with Ray and Darren. Um, we wish them all the very best as a squad. Um, and unfortunately that's football We, like I say we have to move on as players we can't dwell on it Lee and Cracks have come in and, and it's they've changed they've put their own stamp on things and it shows with the 3-5-2 the formation that's their stamp on it straight away so we um, yeah we've all welcomed them as players and uh, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll take that start and we'll build on it How important was the early goal? Yeah, very early uh, goal is, is always important in this in this uh, this kind of cup tie. And to be honest, in this season that we're playing in, um, early goals will will be important. I think um, I think there's games where we have scored early goals and we've gone on to to either win or like control the game. Um, so that is definitely something that I think we need to to look to do um, and try and hit teams early. There were some people in the media in certain quarters were kind of questioning Falkirk's form. How nice is it to kind of give an emphatic answer to that tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to, to quieten the doubt, any doubters because people were seeing us as a banana skin here tonight potentially to go out because of losing the gaffer. Um, but we're only two points off the top, so it's not, it's not a crisis in any way. Like, we're, we're two points off top. Yeah, our form has been a little up and down, not where we where we hoped it to be. And saying that, we're still two points off top. If we're if we're languishing lower down the league, then there's problems. But no, nah, there's no problems at all. We we just take tonight on board. We work on it again, and we go again for is it Stranraer at home? Yep, sure. Yes. Important then is a, a kind of message even for the fan base to say, look, you know, it's a time just to keep a bit of composure and just kind of bring everyone together and we can get back to the top of the league sort of sooner rather than later. Yeah, of course. I mean, the fans are there. They're well within their rights to voice their opinion. But at the end of the day, uh, we need them as players to support us on the park. Um, I'm not saying that they don't support us, but to hear them being positive, clapping good bits of play and, and shouting, singing songs, like it, it does give you a lift as a player. So... Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that that continues from the fans. And uh, like I say, we've got a fresh start, haven't we? As as a club, there's a fresh start. There's new guys in charge, so let's let's go onwards and upwards. 
overall a fairly convincing performance from the Bears tonight? Yeah, I would say so, overall. Um, overall, they never threatened us at all. Their one chance they scored, which was uh, a, bit, a bit annoying to lose a goal tonight, but we did, we reacted properly and we put them to the sword and that's, that's what we were here to do. We're in, the, we're in the hat for the next round. And that's the thing, ultimately, it's just a case of progression and we, we look forward to the draw now, right? Yeah, that's it. Um, and we build on this win <coughs> going forward in the league as well. And if we can do that, how important is it for Falkirk to look now, looking forward to, to try and get a, a run of games together? Yeah, of course, that's, that's what you always try to do in a league. If you're wanting to win the league, we need to be putting little runs together of four, five, six games, hopefully. Um, so hopefully now, like I said, a uh, fresh start for everybody. Let's let's be positive and, and go forward. And just finally, you mentioned that game next weekend against uh, Shinar. Your thoughts on that one? Can we take the three points? Yeah, I mean, obviously, every game we look to take the three points. Um, so we'll we'll prepare as we did for this one. We'll prepare for Stranraer and I'm um, sure Cracks and Leo will, will look at how they play and, and set us up to, to, to beat them, basically. So us as players, we need to take what they say on board and, and implement it on the pitch. So, so we can, Paul, congratulations on the goal tonight. And as always, thanks for your time. Thank you.